Hey everyone, I'm Krista Seiden, and today I'm joined by Brian Stark, who is a group product manager on Google Analytics. Brian is going to tell us all about the new access management features in Google Analytics 4 properties. Brian, thank you so much for being here, and over to you. Thank you, Krista. I'm really excited to be here today to teach you all about access management. Let's go ahead and dive into the slides. So I'd like to give you an overview of access management. Any property or account administrator may assign roles and data restrictions for other users in a Google Analytic property or account in the access management panel. These roles and data restrictions determine either the view and edit permissions for product settings or access to the property schema, such as dimensions and metrics in the property. There are some important concepts to understand when assigning roles to a user. Standard roles. Standard roles impact a user's ability to view and modify settings in the product such as audiences, integrations, data processing settings, among many others. Standard roles have a hierarchy of increasing authority from viewer to analyst to editor to administrator. Data restrictions. Assigning a data restriction prevents a user from viewing parts of the schema. Again, the dimensions and metrics. There are currently two data restrictions in the product. No revenue. A user with this data restriction will see zeros instead of actual revenue metrics. Similarly, the no cost restriction Users with this restriction will see zeros instead of the actual cost metrics. It's also important to understand the hierarchy within Google Analytics. So Google Analytics has a hierarchy where accounts contain properties, contain sub-properties. And when you assign roles at the account level, it affects all the properties in the account as well as all the sub-properties in the account. When you assign a role at the property level, it affects that property and all the sub-properties beneath it. And when you assign a role just at a sub-property, it only affects that sub-property. Roles also union, so if you assigned a user a role at the property level and the account level, they would get the combination of those roles on the property, giving them the most permissive combination of those two. Similarly, when you assign data restrictions, it follows the hierarchy as well. So if you assign a no-cost restriction on the account level, every property and sub-property the user has access to will also have no-cost restrictions signed. So with that, I'd like to switch to a demo so I can give you a, a view of how this works in practice. And so here you see a Google Analytics property. You'll notice this property has a total revenue of $1 million. Now let's say I have a user I don't wanna let see that $1 million in revenue. Well, I can assign a data restriction to prevent that user from seeing that number. To do that, I'll go to the administration panel. And I can click on property access management. Within the property access management screen, I can select the user I'd like to assign the role or data restriction to. And you'll see here, I have the standard roles I described, administrator, editor, analyst, and viewer, as well as the data restrictions. For this user, I'll go ahead and click on the no revenue metrics data restrictions and hit the save button. I will then exit the screen and return to the report I was looking at before. And you'll notice on this report, now instead of $1 million, I see a total revenue of zero dollars. And that's it. That's as simple as it is to assign roles and data restrictions to an individual user. Thank you so much, Brian, for showing us all about access management features in the Google Analytics 4 properties. I think these new features around data access and data restriction are super useful and are gonna give people a lot more ability to control who sees what in their Google Analytics 4 properties.